Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a logical DI. <clears throat> it says that there are three students who appeared in an examination which had three sections and each section had 20 questions. The marking scheme is given in the table and we are given one bar graph. It shows that the uh, marks obtained in a section as a percentage of total marks obtained for each of the students. So that's a stack bar graph. Okay, now uh, we need to find out their scores and all those things that what, what were their scores, minimum possible score, etc, etc. So we have to consider first we need to find this part. We need to understand this graph. What does it depict? So uh, it is important to convert these percentages into fractions. Okay, so if we see 26.67% uh like if you know that 1 by 15 is 6.67 percent okay 3 by 15 is 20 percent so if you add this we get 4 by 15 so this means this portion is 4 by 15 now 33.33 percent is one third okay so can it be said that 5 by 15 and 40 percent can be said as 6 by 15 so for karun section a ratio section b ratio section c will be scores in the ratio 4 ratio 5 ratio 6 so basically using this bar graph we have to find the ratio in which they scored the marks so for karun we will get 4 ratio 5 ratio 6 for lakshan now if we see this these are all multiples of 5 so we can say 6 5 and 9 so for lakshan the ratio is 6 ratio 5 ratio 9 then the third person is manas for him the scores since these are all divisible by 4 so let us just make it 4 8 and 13 so his scores in the three sections are 4 ratio 8 ratio 13 okay now the next thing that we need to do is this is the ratio obtained now how do we find their marks because nothing is given about the marks they scored right one wrong approach here would be assuming that all values that are multiples of 15 assuming all values multiples of 20 or 25 no that is not the correct way let me tell you what is the catch here is the catch here is given that each one of them attempted all questions in the paper so they attempted all questions so they will be able to achieve only certain scores right so they cannot uh, score any number so let us try to understand let's talk about section a okay a person attempts all 20 questions all questions so in that case if you get 20 correct your score would be 60 if you get 19 correct and one incorrect now some people will falter here they will take a difference of 3 so 19 correct gives 57 minus 1 that is 56 if one does 18 correct and 2 incorrect 52 minus 54 minus 2 that is 52 so technically when you get one answer incorrect instead of correct you lose those three marks and another one marks so these are in difference of 4 so section a if we talk about if a person has attempted all questions the scores will be like 60 56 52 48 and so on till minus 20 because if someone does all incorrect the score will be minus 20 so this was very important to figure out and using that only you can use these ratios and solve this set now second is section b so section b if a person attempts all 20 questions and gets all correct it will be 80 now here a person will lose 4 and 1 so that will be 75 because if you get 19 correct and 1 incorrect so 19 correct will give 76 and 1 incorrect will give minus 1 75 so here the difference will be of 5 marks so 70 then we will have 65 and so on till minus 20 because you have one negative for every incorrect attempt so these are the range of scores then if we talk about section c 
Section C, the maximum marks are 100. Five marks, 20 questions, so maximum 100 marks. Now, in this case, the loss will be of seven marks. So let us say a person gets 19 correct and one incorrect. So that would mean that 95 minus two, that will be 93. If it is 18 to, in that case, it will be 90 and minus 4, 86. So for every marks incorrect question, there will be a loss of 7 marks. So this will be 93, 86, 79 and so on. And minimum will be all 20 incorrect, that is minus 40. So this is the range in which the marks will be scored. Okay. Now, uh, this is the most interesting one because here you get multiples of 4, here you are getting multiples of 5, okay. Uh, it becomes easy because you will get multiple possibilities like ratio is 5, so you, all these are values are multiples of 5. Uh, for current, uh, this person, the ratio is 4, you will get all values as multiples of 4, right. So the thing is, you have to look at section C in order to solve this because here you see that some uh, even prime numbers present, right, not all numbers will be in some uh, like definite multiples of a particular number. Here you see all are multiples of 4, all are multiples of 5, right, even there are a lot of multiples of 8 also possible in this, okay. So we will look for section C. So let us start finding for Karun. Okay, so let us find out what could be his possible scores. So if you see in this case, 100 is a perfect, uh, like it is not divisible by 6. Okay, then if we subtract, next number would be 72. So 72 is possible for section C. Okay, so if we talk about Karun, we can have section C 72. Right, if it is 72, this will be 60. This is 4 ratio, 5 ratio, 6, right? And another possible, this will be uh, 48, which is quite possible because these are multiples of 4, these are multiples of 5. So, one possibility is this. Now, after 72, what is the next multiple of 6 that he can score? Now, his score is decreasing by 7 marks for every incorrect attempt that increases. So, 7, 7, 7, that means uh, you need to decrease 42. See, this is 6. We need to get a multiple of 6. This is 72, right? So, in order to get a multiple of 6, we need to multi uh, divide, uh, subtract 6 more times. So, we can get 30 as a score. And again, 42, if we subtract, we can get minus 12 as a score. Okay, so that are the possibilities in section C. Why did we find for section C? Because here we have lesser cases. If you start from section A, you will get too many cases. It will be difficult to figure out. Okay. So, uh, if we see 30 marks, 4 ratio, 5 ratio, 6, that means 20, 25 and 30. And if we look at minus 12, so this will be minus 10 and minus 8. So, one of the questions is, what is the minimum possible score of Karun? So, minimum possible score is minus 30. Okay. Now that is for Karun. Let us do for uh, Lakshan and Manas. Now if you talk about Lakshan, Lakshan got a multiple of 9 here. Let us figure out what could be the multiple of 9. That is 72. Obviously number uh, that which we can see is 72. So if we say 72 here, then it will be 5. 5 into 8 that will be 40. And 6. 6 into 8 that is 48. So, Lakshan has this as a possible score. Now, next multiple of 9 will be 7963. That is 9 marks. If we take 9 marks, this should be 5 and this should be 6. This is possible as 5, but this is not possible as 6. Because these are all multiples of 4. We can have a possible score of 5 in this section. But we cannot have a possible score of 6 in this section. So, luck will have only one possible set of scores right? that will be his 48 40 and 72 will be his score now we will talk about the third person which is manas manas has a multiple of 13 here so if you look the next number that is 65 we see that it is a multiple of 13 and just take the ratio that is 13 into 5 so 8 into 5 is 40 and 4 into 5 is 20. Is it a justifiable value? Yes, it is a multiple of 4. So, fits. 
it is a multiple of 5 it fits and it's a multiple of 13 it also fits now the next multiple of 13 that will be uh, it will be by subtracting 91 from this 7 so minus 26 minus 26 that will mean minus 16 not possible okay because it has to be a multiple of 5 so we do not get any other values for manas as well so we have for Karun, we have three possible values, right? And for Lakshan and Manas, we have unique values, right? Okay, now let's answer the remaining questions. The second question says that how much did Lakshan score in the test? That we have already determined that his score will be, uh, if you add this, we get 160 as the answer. Okay, next question is how many questions did Manas attempt correctly in the test? Now, in order to find this, we will have to form equations and figure out. So, Manas got 20 marks in the first section. So, let us say he ha he got x correct questions. So, he will get 3x and y incorrect. That will be 3x minus y. That will be his score. That is equal to 20. And x plus y is also 20. Okay. So, solving we get x is equal to 10. So, 10 in the first section. Right. In the second section, x plus y is 40, uh, x plus y is 20, then it is 4x minus y. That will be his marking, that is 40. Okay, so we get uh, 5x uh, is equal to 60. So 12 correct in this section. So 10 plus 12, uh, 12 correct and 8 incorrect. Right. So 12 correct, 48 minus 8, that is 40. That is also done. Next is section C. Section C, his score is 5x minus 2y that is equal to 65 x plus y is 20 so if we add we will get uh, 7x is equal to 105 or x is equal to 15 so we will say 15 correct you can verify also right 15 correct will be 75 marks and 5 uh, incorrect will give minus 10 so total 65 marks so this is the number of correct attempts so 10 plus 12 plus 15 the total number of correct attempts is 37 next question is which of the following cannot be the total marks obtained by the three students okay so for lakshan and manas we know the total lakshan has a total of 160 and manas has a total of uh, 125 Right. So, this is certain that is 285. Okay. Now, we will find the possible. We will just add this. So, this is 180. And in this case, we have 75. And this is minus 30. So, let us just add it. This is 285 plus 180 is 465. This is possible. 75 is 360. This is also possible. Minus 30 is 255. This is also possible. So, 325 is not a possible total. Okay. Next question. Uh, which of the following statements is definitely true? So, what is what statement is true? Manas scored the least marks in section C. So, Manas scored 65 in section C. But that does not mean that it is the least marks, right? Because for Karun, we have multiple possibilities. No one scored more than 50 marks in section B. 40, 40. Now, this person, Karun, could have scored more marks, uh, more than 15 section b so that is also not true exactly two of the students scored equal marks in section a so section a one is 20 one is 48 now this is also possible this is also possible but this is also possible a third case is also possible okay so if we consider this case then it would be true right if we consider this case again it will be true but if we consider this case minus 8 minus 10 and minus 12 this will not be true Okay, so that is not the right answer. Last one, exactly two of the students scored equal marks in section B. Section B is certain that two students have scored 40 marks. So that is correct. If Karun and Lakshan had equal marks in section C, what is the difference between their total marks? So Karun and Lakshan had same marks in section C. So that means we are considering this case. What is the difference between their total marks? So, this is 180 and this is 160. So, the difference is of 
20 marks. So this was uh, quite a challenging set, uh, required a lot of uh, deep thinking. And uh, even if you were not able to do the set by looking at the solution, I hope that I must have made it clear that how to approach this question, the logic behind this thing that was the key to solve this question and of course this I sh I'm sure that many of you would have been able to figure out but figuring out this was the most important part to solve this question. So if you loved the explanation of this videos don't forget to like the video.